there. Now, I've spoken to our political correspondent, Joe Coburn. She gave us the details behind one of the more bizarre claims which we've seen in the new Daily Telegraph, this being for a duck island. It's against um, Sir Peter Vigors, who's senior Tory MP, who is said to have claimed about £30,000 in gardening expenses, and that includes what's called a duck island, which is said to be an island in the middle of a pond for his ducks, and that's claim was for over £1,500. Now, we've been told that David Cameron, the Tory leader, has told him either you announce you're stepping down at the next election or you have the party whip withdrawn. And we're informed that he will announce, the Gosport MP, that he is going to step down at the next election. And, of course, he'll go before the scrutiny panel, which is this panel set up to look at disciplinary action potentially for MPs who've been accused of overclaiming and that he should be ready to pay a significant amount back. But he's not the only Tory MP in The Telegraph um, and the headlines that you've been showing. Also, Bill Wigan, who is a Tory whip, a contemporary of David Cameron. Now, he is accused of claiming mortgage interest um, on a home, on his constituency home, um, which has has never had a mortgage on it. Now, in his defence, Bill Wigan said it's an administrative error. He always meant to fill in the forms to say he was claiming on his London property, uh, which has always been his second home, and on which there is a mortgage. But it is an error the Daily Telegraph accuse him of making 23 times. Now, Bill Wigan, the Tory MP, has said that, you know, he sent the deeds for his London home to the Commons Fees Office, but they didn't clear up the mistake until 2006. And, of course, we'd already heard from Anthony Steen, another Conservative MP, the MP for Totnes, who announced today or confirmed that he is also going to stay step down at the next election and this comes after uh, revelations that amongst other things that he had called in a forestry expert for which he claimed to examine his trees at his country home. So Joe Coburn they're just going back to the mornings the new Daily Telegraph uh, that is Bill Wigan Joe's just talking about um, Ruth Kelly has spoken to the BBC she'd claimed uh, insurance for flood damage to her second home even though she had a building insurance policy she said it was an entirely legitimate claim the claim was neither ludicrous nor a phantom claim unlike others featured in the Telegraph I'm tempted to say there was no comment from the duck, but uh, of course that was all about the claim from uh, Sir Peter Vickers there for his duck island.